all loaded up guys that was interesting there was two cops at this uh camping world dealership i don't know what happened i think they were taking a police report for something but i wasn't gonna ask <laughs> but uh we are on the way got this mallard uh i think keystone makes it keystone mallard maybe um and we are going up to panama I had a, I have a little, I was sitting at this red light and I had a little lizard, like this big, sitting on my, uh, on my mirror. And I went I'll to try- I put it on Instagram. I went, yeah, she took a picture of it. I tried to grab it and it actually crawled up and now it's behind my mirror, like inside. So, I have a new pet now. <laughs> He's been harassing us to uh, save 10% by switching to him. Yeah, it's the guy <laughs> called Gecko. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna name him Lizzie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was- not too bad. At first they couldn't find the unit and then it was, we thought that uh, a wave driver, which is, if you're not familiar, another transport company, um, we thought that they dispatched on it too because there was another person hooked up to a Mallard and they didn't know they had two going out. So it took a minute to get everything. Um, they can't find the keys or the paperwork for this unit so they said they're just going to overnight it because I think they're trying to, the other dealership that I'm bringing this to is trying to sell this unit to somebody. So. Um, I guess they'll mail it. We're heading up and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Filled up for $1.90 a gallon um, right before we filled, uh, stopped here, so. Yeah, at TA in uh, Tampa. Yeah, so we're gonna guess for right a while. Right before exit 10. Yeah. No, exit nine. No, we got off exit 10. 312 <laughs> miles to get there, five hours and 43 minutes. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're over here at this camping world. And Midway finally got here. Actually, got here last night. I pretty much drove straight through, and uh, we kind of just been hanging out since. They don't open till nine. It's eight fifty right now, so patiently waiting. And uh, once we get that done, we are gonna go get some Whataburger, and then uh, we're gonna head on to our fifth wheel load. And then Sam saw a uh, a fifth wheel that's going from Texas to Texas. It's going from an RV dealer to a campground. So I'm going to give them a call at 9 o'clock and see if they'll let me pick it up on Saturday and then drop it off uh, either Saturday or Sunday, depending you know how late we get there Saturday. So we'll see. Yeah, that was like the easiest delivery ever. I literally waited till 9 a.m. and uh, walked in there. The guy's like, hey, you've been here before. I'm like, hey, I've been here quite a few times. And uh, he's like, all right, just give me your paperwork and I'll sign it. I'm like, okay. I believe you. So, uh, he signed it and, uh, he didn't even look at it and I'm out. So that's cool. Now we're on to our next fifth wheel. Let's go. Well guys, I got Sam driving as you can see. Is it weird? It's a little weird. <laughs> um, you know, now I don't know if we're going to make it home safe or not because Sam's driving. So. Oh please. They don't even, they, right. We're, you didn't even tell them that we're heading home. Sam's been driving for two weeks. Isn't she doing a good job? Please. <laughs> um, so we're changing our, our plan here a little bit. Um, I called Horizon and I you know I told him that uh, I just don't feel comfortable leaving my RV behind. You know I have a lot of things in my RV, and uh, this this storm that's coming is supposed to be pretty bad. Seventy per mile hour winds near us. Yeah. So I you know I want to be there. I don't know. I might pull some stuff out of the RV and throw it in the truck. I just don't know how bad it's gonna be. You know what I mean? So I'd rather be there to do whatever we can. Yeah. Instead of being all the way heading up to Texas to not be able to do anything. And then, to God forbid, if something was to happen to this RV, now all our stuff is all over the floor. Right, and getting ruined if, it, if there's water getting in or whatever. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to do that. We're just going to stay behind. We pushed the Texas run. We're going to be picking that one up, the one going from Florida to Texas, uh, this Monday. So, that was good that they were able to push that that far. That way we could still pick it up make that money anyway we're picking it up and uh on monday so that'd be good we're dropping it off on either tuesday or wednesday depending on how late it gets there but yeah we're gonna try to take care of this rv a little bit more i stopped at a harbor freight they didn't have any more generators um you know i'm trying to get an inverter generator i really like that predator 3500 i've had them a couple times so they didn't have any the one by us of course has eight well had eight right now and uh, we're not gonna be there for another seven hours. So, you know, I don't know if they're gonna have any by the time we get there. I'm not holding my breath. 
but uh, so I don't know. So we might be without power. All right, so we're heading. I'm, I just have so many things running through my mind right now. So I'll, I'll see you guys when we get back to the house. All right, we did a magic trick. Now I'm driving. Woo! <laughs> guys, we're like 10 minutes from home, um, but I'm stopping at Harbor Freight because, like I told you guys earlier, they had eight generators left when I called up seven and a half hours ago. And uh, now she's saying there's one on the floor, you know, like in the display area, and then she's not sure if they have any more or how many in the back. So I'm kind of like racing there, um, you know, doing the speed limit, of course, but like racing there. And uh, I'm going to drop Sam off in front. She's going to go like secure one if they are there, and then I'm going to come in and knock somebody out. Knock someone out. Are... Yeah, if they take Let it. Let go! Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Let me at him. I'm going to be like scrappy do, you know? So, um,. So that's the plan because I don't know what the storm holds. You know, what I mean, they, like the weather just doesn't know uh, the weather channel. And you know, some are saying it's gonna hit us. Some are saying it might veer off to the more east, so we might not really feel the impact too much. Um, but my train of thought is, you know what? Even if it doesn't hit us like hard and we don't lose power, um, you know, which of course we wouldn't mind. But at least we'd have the generator for the future, you know, because um, hurricanes and bad storms are. And then oh, here we go again. Why can I not inevitable? say this word? Inevitable. I don't know why you have to say the word. Just say so you know that inevitable. we're in Florida and there's a lot yeah. of hurricanes. So, you know, so, so they will happen again why eventually. Why does that sound fancy? You can get out right here. No, thank you. There's no cows over here. That's I'm just... Blend in. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, at least you dissed yourself this time, not me. Jeez. <sighs> So that's the plan guys we're going to get this generator i'm praying they have one because i really want to be prepared for the storm i know i should have gotten it a long time ago um but we're always running around and i never get a damn second and we to didn't think. think we were gonna stay i mean oh Wait yeah for the storm like yeah I, when we were in whataburger drive through i saw like a model and it's saying 70 per mile hour winds i'm like oh my i tell him and he's like oh my gosh and, yeah you know we're like panicking the, the other issue like in my head i'm picturing my rv now, Coachman Chaparral's are actually really well built. I had one before, I had a 2003, and it went through Hurricane Irma uh, without an issue. The only thing I lost was one um, of those plastic vent covers on top, and it was like 15 bucks to replace it, and it went on you know, very easily, and that was it, it was done. Um, I didn't have any leaks, there was no damage, nothing. So, I'm hoping that this one will go, you know, same thing, you know, they're, they're pretty solid built, um, you know, for what they are and uh, I'm hoping it'll hold out. But in my head, I picture this thing disintegrating. I just, I don't wanna be all the way in Texas and my RV like implodes. And, and our I, stuff is just all outside for yeah, everybody to view. Right, so, um, so the goal is to just, you know, get there, secure everything up, button it up, and, and actually be there that way. In case I have an emergency, um, or I need to like, you know, tarp something down or tape something or whatever, I can, I can just do it. And I have the generator for power. Okay, let's go get the generator. Hopefully they have it. Fingers crossed. Right now, pause this video and say fingers crossed right down in the comments. Do it. Just do it. And if you don't do it, you're going to make like an idiot. So just do it. Okay? Make yourself like an idiot All right. now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if I can get my hands on one. All right, guys. Well, I was able to get one. The Predator 3500 inverter generator. So this thing's really nice because it has a built-in 30 amp plug, which is what my RV runs. And uh, it has an electric start, which is really convenient, plus a backup pull starter. Um, it runs 11 hours, it says. I've actually got it to run almost like 13 hours, so it's a really good generator. Um, it has an eco throttle. If I, if I end up opening it, I'll show you guys everything. It's really quiet. Um, and I'm, I'm really stoked that we got one. I really didn't think we'd be able to get one, so. That's awesome. So I'm gonna try to attempt to get it out of the truck right now. It weighs about 100 pounds, fully loaded. Um, actually, it weighs about 125 pounds with gas in it, but with the box and everything, it's probably about 100, 110 pounds. So, let's get it out of here, and we'll bring it up inside. Cody, are you so excited for the storm? Are you? Yeah, there's a storm coming. I know, it's unbelievable. Guys, Cody is ready. Thanks to my parents, Cody is ready and stocked up for food um, for the rest of his life and probably past the rest of his life with this 50 pound bag of food and uh, all this wet food. I know, I know, it's coming and we're all prepared. 
As you guys can see, I have our generator all set, ready to go. Just gotta pull it out of the box. Sam's over here making some hurricane chicken cutlets. Oh yeah. It's not even there's a hurricane. But pre-gaming, woo! I have no beer. Oh, you should add beer to, I made a Walmart what? order. If you guys haven't already known, uh, I talked about it a little bit in the last video. I have this like membership now for Walmart. I think it's through Instacart, I'm not sure. It's 13 bucks a month, or you can pay $100 for the whole year, and they'll deliver all your groceries, unlimited deliveries, uh, right to your door. So, yeah. And it's everything in their store. Oh, yeah, it's not just groceries. Like, I ordered um, I ordered full synthetic motor oil for this. I got him dog food. You can get clothes, electronics, like, literally, like, anything they have in the store, you can have it delivered. So it's really, it's a sweet thing. <sighs> all right, well, Monday, we're picking up that other fifth wheel. And uh, bringing that over there, so we're kind of just gonna take this day one, one day by one day, one day, day by time. day. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, oh I got gas for the generator. I got 10 gallons, uh, which should be way more than enough because we're only gonna stay here till about Sunday afternoonish, Sunday early afternoon. I don't know because um, we're gonna start making our way up to that Texas load on Sunday. That way we can pick it up early on um, Monday. And I'm gonna drop He's it off on Tuesday. Away from us. Yeah, they're about seven and a half hours. <laughs> kind of tight about, but you know, whatever. I've been keeping my eye on the load board to see if I can get a reload, but it's not looking too good right now. Um, you know, to make my way up there. Like I, like I had the other day, which is perfect. You know, I took that load up to Panama and I was gonna jump over two hours to that load. But no, the hurricane screwed me. I know, he's so excited. Yeah, I didn't want to lose my RV. I know, I, I, I know. I'm so excited. Ooh, all right. <sighs> so that's what I got going on for you guys. We're trying to, we cleaned up this place, loaded with dog hair. This damn dog sheds more than anything. Um, but we're just gonna hunker down here. I'll see you guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, which most likely will be tomorrow. Yeah, which will be tomorrow. I'll give you guys an update on how everything is going. Um, we brought most of the stuff in already. I just gotta bring you on again. And uh, a couple loose, like little pots that she has. I just want to secure them a little better, and then we'll be all set. But other than that, this is a short little video. Just to update you guys. We are still kicking, and um, you'll get more like faster updates if you guys follow us over on Instagram. It's that underscore nomadic underscore couple. I will put a link down I below. Remember, if you have any questions, just uh, private message me, and I'll answer as best as I can. Yeah, and I know I got a lot of newbies. Uh, who just signed on with Horizon or whoever. So if you guys have any questions, I will do my best or Sam will do her best to answer them. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we make it through. See you later.